mankind will wilt in pain. There'll be no rest. And welcome to a very unique and interesting stream that is happening today. I've got a bunch of people here from Rooster Teeth joining me today. This is, these are co-workers. These are the people who we're actually trying to get more people to come in. Like, come on, Will. Come, Will, come. 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 Get in here. Come and join us. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, you should totally be here. This is, this is about us. Yesterday we had it, yesterday was a day, TM. Like, there was a lot of information that came out that affected all of us. You know, Rooster Teeth is shutting its doors. It's not something that's happening immediately. We do have time. Biggest thing here, we have time to wind things down appropriately, to talk about it, to talk to you, to be able to have a live stream like this today where we can bring all of y'all in, everyone who's dropping the hearts in chat, who have left over 700 comments on a single community group post on roosterteeth.com, thousands of messages on Discord and Reddit and Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and 4chan and Kiwi Farms. Like, it's everywhere, y'all. Like, <laughs> you're everywhere. And we're trying to get all of y'all in here today to be with us. And I'm happy to be joined by Hannah McCarthy right hello, here. Hello, hello. I've got Jordan Levin, our general manager. And so many people from Rooster Teeth who are both in front of and behind the camera. And, and all these? Yeah. And so many behind people the behind the camera. We got like another dozen people back there. We've got other people watching from home, got them in chat. And really, we want to get a chance to talk with you, mm -hmm. address some of the ideas and conversations that we've been seeing, like surrounding in different spaces, and let y'all know that, you know, we're in this together. There was a actual community letter that we got last. I knew I needed Kleenexes. Yeah. It's gonna <laughs> grab us all at some point. There, it was a letter that we got um, just a couple days ago. I got it Tuesday morning. And Jordan had already let me know what was gonna be happening on Wednesday. And I started reading this letter from Miss Bailey. And she was talking about how she was graduating from high school and how important we had all been to her life growing up. And that there was a lot going on in the world. The industry was changing. She was changing. And she's, you know, seen what we as a company have been through. And she ended the letter with, everything's going to be fine. And I took it to Jordan, and we both started crying about it. <laughs> um, but that's what's going to happen here is it's going to be tough. It's going to be a long road. But everything is going to be fine. I'm it's so our glad. emotional support, John. And I have emotional... four boxes of Kleenex. <laughs> Happy birthday to John Mays. John Mays. Am I Happy wrong to say that feels excessive? <laughs> <laughs> you get a box. You get a box. I feel, yeah, I'm going to use this whole box, actually. And for the person in chat who just asked what's happening in the vicious circle, I have a story <laughs> for you. <laughs> Come on. Um, but why you start like looking at a few things, Jordan? Why don't you start talking a little bit about how you're feeling today? Or maybe Trevor, like, <laughs> let the audience know. I can barely yeah. eye down the chat right now. So um, I'll, let, I'll let Jordan take it away for a minute, if you don't mind. I mean, I, I feel like I'm still, you know, relatively new. I mean, I've been here four and a half years, but this is a company that, you know, is almost 21 years old. And... Um, that's just remarkable and you know when i informed jeff ramsey his immediate question as was bernie's as was matt's as was gus's was how how is everyone going to get taken care of which was awesome and then there 
second thing was, this is not, you know, Jeff Ramsey said, this is not a failure. There's no failure here. This is a celebration, 21 years. That's, that's a lifetime in digital years. And we could never have imagined in our wildest dreams that this would last 21 years. And we talked about how the fact that there will be extensions of this that go on well beyond that. Not only in terms of what influence this company has created, but hopefully certain shows, certain channels, certain personalities will continue to do their thing. Um, but it's remarkable to me from someone who was on the outside and on the inside to think about how a few friends in Buda, Texas, just outside of Austin, back when Buda was its own little tiny town, um, you know, try to create something for themselves and put it up on the internet before YouTube. And so many of you liked it. And that started to create a business that grew organically and in so doing created so much of what we just take for granted as being the natural state of how things work now. But so much innovation came out of and has come out of the people in this company. And so what was special yesterday was I didn't know how it was going to go. Barbara's coming in. Thank you, Barbara. There are people in recordings. Jack. There's Jack. Jack. Jack being There have been people, people in recordings. Barbara being one of where. those people. And you just never know where these things are going to go. You know, it was so important to us that we informed everybody in person. Um, you know, we did it through a live stream here, but we don't want people to read it from a memo. And we didn't. We wanted to be amongst ourselves. And afterwards, instead of. And that was something that was really important, too, is we didn't just want to send a memo saying, <laughs> lol, mm -hmm. company's ending. Like, doing something like that would have been horrible. Like, we saw what other companies had done, and it was, we can't be like that. Everyone here has put too much of themselves into it for 21 years. It was so unique. It was so different. It's like, we need to let everyone know. And the... And the immediate reaction in chat on our internal stream. And then the reaction immediately after we stopped the stream, which we went as long as we needed to go to answer questions from the staff in chat. And um, obviously then, you know, the story got communicated via press and us posting the memo we sent internally for everyone who wasn't in our all hands to say, come on in, but we want to know you to know this is happening. And we try to send it to as many people as we could who, you know, were past our tears and who we thought would be impacted. You know, we didn't get everybody, but it's the immediate reaction was one of love. The expressions of love that everyone here and everyone across the company had towards one another was it was beautiful. Patrick said it. He goes, this is a hard day, but it's beautiful. And the appreciation and gratitude, come on, Chris, <laughs> that Getting everybody cool. had. Um, it was just a remarkable day. It was an incredibly emotional day. I'm a crier, so of course, like, I don't cry at anything. But the fact that people appreciated the opportunity, the fact that the immediate reaction was, Let's go out and have a fun. Let's let's have fun. And 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 let's do this right. And let's respect the legacy of this company. Um, I've never been a part of anything like that. I've never seen anything like that. And then all of y'all's support just lifted our spirits incredibly. So that was my day. And I just felt like <laughs> I mean, a uh, just a, tr a horrible situation. People are losing their jobs. But the spirit was so supportive and loving, respectful, celebratory. Um, it just is what make this, makes this a special place.
So that was my experience. And I couldn't wait to get in there today and be around everybody. We did shots before the stream as well. <laughs> oh, I missed I those. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. It was gnarly. <laughs> It's a tough one. <laughs> it's a tough one. Um, it's a saint. It's like, it's complex, man. Cause like on one hand, you know, I have like such conflicting emotions and I'm finding my words in the moment, you know, so forgive me, but it's like, you know, I'm not really like, I'm not upset. I'm oddly excited, but I'm in mourning. Um, but I'm like, nervous i'm anxious you know there's a lot of things it, there's and it's hitting in waves um because i think the more i process this and the more i talk to barbara about this um the more i realize what i'm gonna miss about this like really magical place it's not just losing a job ever you guys are all so talented you'll be fine we'll all be fine we have some healing to get through. We have some time to move through, but we're all going to find something incredible. And there's going to be another chapter and we're going to look back and be like, wow, wasn't that a kind of bump in the road? But, um, but from, from the boring stuff to the, to the obvious stuff, like, you know, we were even talking in the meeting yesterday, like whether it be like the way our executive team operates and the leniency with which we, we, we have such a progressive company, uh, that looks out for the employees so well and fights tooth and nail every single day um, yeah, for us I mean, to we do let what we do. BFT bankrupt the company yeah, on Lotto tickets. Yeah, I, uh, I still sorry, don't know guys. how we let that happen. Oh, we were going to talk no, about don't that. Don't put the camera on. What, are you, what the fuck? Back to Trevor. It was all Carolyn. And all right, back to and Trevor. Camera, okay, and camera six. Not here, she's Camera not six to Trevor. <laughs> But also, but but like it's the relationships. It's it's like I think I and I, forgive me, whoever it might have been out of the giant meeting we had. But it's it isn't like it's not like coworkers who became friends. It's not like friends at work. It it is like we get to work with friends. It's like this really unique and interesting dynamic. And beyond like just all the stuff going on that we're like the magic and the potential that we're mourning here it's it's also this really and i keep looking this way that you guys are over here for me the the the, <laughs> the chat it's just flying and flooded um and if you would just as a throwback break it one more time for me just i know it's in slow mode i think you can do it just count to 10 one last time for me for the off topic days but wait it's, no don't count no it's no the counting relationship. <laughs> that you enabled us to we got to do so many cool things together here and with you the the i got to hunt ghosts with fredo while he was terrified we i got to go to france with michael and pee in a public urinal in a five-way <laughs> intersection you got paid for that i got paid for that um but it's just like so i'm so i'm so grateful for every memory i i have made here um but but you know yeah it's going to be tough to say goodbye all right we got one yeah. can we get a like one I'm two was starting so, I so one, upset right now one, two. can we get a one two three first we break the website yesterday i love you guys bad timing <laughs> and then this anyway that's that's a piece of my heart right there I, I i love everybody here i love everyone behind the camera i love everyone watching in front of the screen at home um but you love me the most right and i love you the most <laughs> Um, but yeah. Um, hi guys. Hi guys. Hi everyone. Um, <laughs> I apologize in advance for crying a lot and being very <laughs> inarticulate today. It's, um, everyone here has seen me cry for the last two days. So you guys are probably used to it by now. Um, this place is my home. It's been my identity um, for 20 years. Uh, I started watching Rooster Teeth when I was 14. Don't do the math. Um, <laughs> but 
it's really weird. It's really weird that it's not going to be here anymore. Um, and it's really scary. And I don't know if a lot of us really reconciled with that quite yet, but I came here right after college and it's been the only place I've known. Um, and I don't, I really am scared for what's next, but everyone here has been so supportive of each other and you guys have been so supportive of us and our friends in the industry and everybody we know has been so wonderful to us and has reached out and shown us so much love and kindness through all of this and understanding. Um, I feel like this group of people here who work at Richard Teeth, we talk about it all the time, but like, these are my best friends and it's not about losing the job, it's about losing all of you guys. And I think that's what has been the most painful part of all of this happening. Um, and I don't know, I think a lot of us are really trying to be optimistic. And I think every single person here is on to bigger and better things because you guys know this, they are the most talented, wonderful, amazing group of human beings that exist on this planet um, and any other planet because aliens do exist. <laughs> Thank you, Barbara. They have to. It's, uh, you know, virtually impossible for them not to. But um, <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> it's just like truly been an honor of a lifetime to be here with everybody. And I'm so thankful for our leadership, Jordan, Hannah, everybody who's have to navigate through this. It's, you know, it's not just navigating through a company closing down, it's navigating a legacy um, ending and an era coming to a close. Um, you know, they've had to fill these really big shoes of a lot of history and a lot of, you know, just, I don't, again, I'm sorry, I'm so inarticulate. Um, but I'm just so thankful for them and for you guys and for giving us the opportunity to entertain you for 21 years um, and for being part of our lives as much as we've been a part of yours. And I really hope that whatever comes next, you guys will be here following us um, and any creators and any talent and any, any, every single person at this company, whether they work behind the scenes or in front of the camera, everyone cares so fucking much. I don't know if you guys really have ever understood that, but everyone here cares so much about this place and about you guys and about each other um, and the job that they've been doing. And we've also been through a lot together <laughs> over the last few years, as I'm sure you guys have known and have seen and have read. Um, and I think each time we've come out stronger and closer and yeah, I think just the, um, hardest part is just not having them in this building together every day and not getting to come into this office and to make dumb shit um, or to be force fed some gross food by face jam or you know <laughs> whatever it is that day um, but yeah I just want to I just want to say thank you guys for everything thank you guys and thank you guys and everybody and I don't know I'm happy to answer any questions too <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm Hector. Uh, I handle the equipment, and I'm a producer here. Uh, I also lead Guy Sonidos with Santiago. Um, I see a little bit in the chat about, like, oh, so who are some of these people um, up here? And that's fair. And I know it's, like, kind of joking, but, like, a lot of these people are here are the ones that make everything happen. And I don't, if you've ever been to stage four, previously stage five, you know how small it is. Like, we all talk to each other and see each other every day all day long while we're literally walking the halls, going to lunch, like Trevor, all the boys, one wheel into my office literally all the time. Like we all know each other so well and the things that you get to see and enjoy and experience are the result of a lot of the people that are up here doing what we do on the back end. And I just wanted to say like, that's really amazing. And I've worked with a lot of these people actually for a long time here and other places. And there's a lot of really, really fantastic people that make everything happen. And not only does that, does it make everything happen, but we are all friends and we are all close. 
most of us. We're all very, very, very close to each other. And we're also the ones that, you know, we show up from time to time. And that's why we're up here with everybody, because it's not just one singular thing. It's all of us that make Rooster Teeth what it is. So. Just add to that, because I just, I'm also seeing in chat, like, there should be a founder here. Like, I, I decided to do this because uh, I thought it was just really important we immediately get an opportunity to talk to you, talk to you all and just start dialogue. Like yesterday was a lot to process. Um, and so we wanted to just be respectful of the intimacy of the relationships that we have with one another. Um, but I thought it was immediately important that we get in front of you as quickly as possible with no agenda. I said, I'm going and I'll answer questions. And then Chelsea said, I'll join you. And here everyone is. And, uh, you know, some of the founders have, uh, have other stuff going on. Gus wanted a beer, but he's got a doctor's appointment or something. This isn't, this isn't the goodbye stream. This isn't the end thing. Like he has to get his butt checked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't That's want to say what. Important. <laughs> I'll check it. <laughs> I'll do it. So, like, Jeff and Gavin. Again, we appreciate all of y'all being here. Uh, I mean, it's incredible. I'm, it's incredible as many people showed up here to want to be here. Because, like I said, like no one should feel pressure to show up. Like there's a lot to process and then feel like you got to go in front of people and answer people that that wasn't what this was about or today was about or to make any definitive statements or to say goodbye. This isn't goodbye. It's just the start of a process to be as open and communicative as you all as possible, because part of what makes this company so unique is the rela relationship we have with you. Part of what makes this company so unique is so many people up here, you know, came from you know being fans and the audience and the community so uh you know please try not to judge about who's up or who's not or what what's being said or not we don't have a ton of answers to questions at this point it's just start of a process of like hey let's bring you into the fold and you're part of this too and we know that and we and we know that this isn't easy and this just gives us a chance to connect and expand the community I see a lot of people in chat saying, I want to hear from Jack. Yeah. And they're saying, Jack, founders. I'm like, I wish I was a founder. My paycheck <laughs> is not big <laughs> enough to be a founder. I also want to point out, too, there were yellow hearts when Barbara was talking, and I was so confused as to why there were yellow hearts the whole time. Then I realized that I'm an idiot. And so <laughs> that's a little show we do. Hey, Will, why were there yellow hearts? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Why you know? me? <laughs> Sammy's right here. Answer it. Uh, because you voice Yang and Ruby. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Do you do you have my Twitter bio open right so now? And that is the last time I'm going to talk on this stream. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's it's like thank you everyone in chat and I will say one nice thing that's come out of this one little accidental thing. It's super easy to block people on social media right now. Man, there's a there's still assholes out there and it's nice to be like, "Oh, they're gone. They're gone. They're gone." So, thank you for that. It makes my day a lot Love easier to get rid of you guys that are just being dicks about this whole thing. You forget that, like, you know, 150, 200 people lost their jobs yesterday. And so it's like, you don't have to be assholes about it. So, hey, if you want to be an asshole about it, just fuck right off. That'd be that'd be great. So you, anyway. I'll get on my soapbox. It, here's, <laughs> here's what you can do for us. If there are people who are hating on us, that's OK. You know, everybody doesn't like to have, like, have to like everything. But just remind them that the people that they do like, they need to support. They need to support by being patrons of them. They can't assume that watching a video or uh, listening to download of a podcast is going to allow those people to continue doing what they're doing. The nature of the social media space right now is such that if you are not supporting people directly, they cannot continue to do what you do. So dislike us, that's fine. Don't watch us, that's fine. But remind those people if they're not supporting the people they like, those people aren't going to be there tomorrow.
and I do see people asking about Extra Life. Yes, Extra Life, something will happen. Don't worry. I, that was literally brought up in the big meeting. So, yes, there, we're going to do something with Extra Life. I don't know what it'll be. Probably won't be here at stage four. I don't know what's <laughs> happening the, with the wheel. Does Warner own the wheel? Can I steal that thing? I can't fit it in my don't car. Stay steal. Stop saying it, steal. I think it, Jack, you know what? I think it went missing last week. You can, I, you oh, can what? I never talk. You can ben, ask Rainbow for ben? it. And Rainbow Ben, get in here too. Come on, man. What are you doing? You can ask Come for on. it, and I'm sure that. Uh, I'm I did sure that it will find your way fire. because It'll it be is for charity like the and wheel for the kids. Right now, right? John Mace, that's cool. John said yes, we can light the wheel on fire. With one little candle. Carrie, get it. It's your birthday. We can light something on fire. Nope. People Here. understand they can sit wherever they want. Carrie, hey, it's Carrie. Hi, Carrie. Maxie. Anyway, extra life. Yes, more extra life stuff will be happening. Don't worry, we'll figure it out. And uh, yeah, I'm sure you will see a lot of the same faces you've seen during our Rooster Teeth Extra Life streams. We are going to collect together to make some kind of stream. Have no idea what it is now. That'll be November or so. Anyway, there will be more of that stuff. And uh, yeah. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you for every opportunity that you guys have uh, given us. It's been so cool. I've, I've got to do so many bucket list things over over my, my career here. So, Jack, we went you. to Australia. Yes, we went all over times. Australia. <laughs> we played shows. I got to do. I got to play at the Hard Rock in Orlando. We had Perth vibrating. Dude, that was awesome. Well, <laughs> only technically. Um, yeah, I agree. There, you guys, thank you guys so much for your support and allowing us to do so many wild things. Um, there's been a few like odds and ends and questions. The chat is going so fast, so I want to get ahead of one that I've like kind of seen just in the in like Instagram comments and on social media in general and things. And and that is like what's happening with show X, Y, or Z, like Red Web or Stinky Dragon or what have you. And I can't speak to any specific brand, but uh, just know that we're all kind of figuring that out. Uh, we don't have those answers just yet. Uh, again, like as Jordan said, this was like an impromptu stream where we we wanted to be candid and open with you as, as soon as possible. Um, but we are actively trying to figure those things out. Uh, I know that everybody here is so diehard passionate about the thing that they work on. And so we can, we're all tightly crossing our fingers that some iteration of some things may, might continue um, if, if possible. Um, but I really do appreciate everybody asking about all of those shows um, and wanting them to continue in some form. Um, but yeah, it will take a lot of your support for those things to do so. Um, but yeah. Uh, I started, uh, 2010, uh, Rooster Teeth, and I remember thinking, well, this will probably last six months. <laughs> uh, so, uh, and every, every year that went by, I just remember thinking this is, uh, a ma magical, um, and there was so much energy and excitement and so many people and uh i don't know i i i would i never i know i i like to think i never took it for granted because it is it's it's been a special place and uh these are special people who are here and um who are, and every you know people in chat are saying uh that uh I've seen a lot of messages about how what Rush Teeth meant to them, and you, that's, I mean that that is really special, uh, knowing that you've impacted people or the things that you've made or that you've uh, had a, a a place in. So thank you for letting us have uh, be a part of your life and uh, for giving us this life that we've had, and because uh, I. I I don't see, I mean, assuming I make it to old age, I don't know that I will. Um, when, uh, assuming I make it to old age, I, and you know, you think about like, looking back on your life and I just, um, I just don't see a world where this isn't just, th this time here hasn't been just the, the just uh, the best part of my life. And these people that, the friends that I've made, I mean, are, I hope, I hope, uh, if I live that, if I live to be old, that I'm still friends with them. You got to Because these, everyone, everyone, everyone. Why do you keep saying this? I don't know. I just always assume I might die at some point. Like, you know, I could walk off a cliff. You know what I mean? I could walk. That, so, yeah. That's a good thing. I, I don't know. I'm just, again, like I said, uh, uh, I, you know, when I started, I, I didn't know if I'd be here for six months. And that meant, you know, maybe I'll die. Anyway. <laughs> what? Anyway, I was trying to be uh, 
heartfelt, but you know, um, <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you and I love you. And um, uh, I don't know, every, every uh, thank, I just thank you for allowing me to, and everyone here to just to have this special place. Okay. All right. Hi, I'm Wes. I'm never in front of the camera, but I just want to say something because I was digging through my email from college. Um, I showed this to Barbara earlier, but um, in February 15th of 2013, I emailed Rooster Teeth um, from the parking lot of my like college movie theater job, <laughs> basically being like, <laughs> I'd like to work in production. Rooster Teeth's cool. But there's a there's a line in the, the like the end of the email like really makes me emotional. Read, read it when I read it yesterday. It was like, uh, blah blah blah. I would love to be an intern, whatever. This would allow me to grow as an individual and potentially make lifelong connections at the greatest production company of this generation. And like the fact that I said that like 11 years ago, <laughs> so like pretty. I don't know. It just made me cry. So I just thought I'd say it here today. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say sent from my iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hi, I, uh, I'm Armando. I'm over here behind Jordan because I showed up late. Oh, don't do that. I mean, I showed up on time, Carrie. <laughs> uh, it's, this, has been, this has been really fun. I've only, I'm diff, different from Chris in that I've only been here for, I think, like two and a half years. Uh, and I remember when I started thinking, like, man, we have two and a half years. Um, <laughs> I liked it. I no, I've had so much fun here doing so much incredible stuff and uh I feel like the entire time that I've been here everyone's just wanted to work on stuff that made them excited to come into the office, which is a really cool place. I've worked in a lot of other creative fields where, you know, you're just kind of showing up and doing the thing that you can do so that afterwards when you clock out, you can go work on the stuff that you're like actually excited about. Uh, and this is one of the only places. Oh, I didn't, I don't do drugs. Uh, why are you laughing? <laughs> That's my, I can't stress enough how much I don't do drugs. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Ugh. I, no, this is just a don't. You're not going to get fired. I, yeah, it's fine. I, uh, no, I, this is one of the only places I've ever worked in the creative field where you just like every day I came in excited to work on something. I said this in a meeting that we had earlier where one of my favorite parts about working here is how every single day uh, either myself or somebody else would come up to me or I would go up to them and be like, dude you gotta see this thing that i fucking did it's so stupid and fun and then like we would just show each other and it's fun you know people are excited to work on the stuff here and you don't you don't really get that a lot it's just a company full of people working on their passions and their passions are really good um i remember the first time i did a voice for stinky dragon uh where i was like what do you mean I'm doing a voice? Isn't this like a D and D show? And you're like, yeah, but we then we recast everyone and we have like a full score and we, you know, do make it like an audio drama and there's like an arc and stuff. And I was like, I don't. Is that how you play D and D? <laughs> I've been doing it wrong. No, it was it was the the amount of effort and passion put into anything that anyone here did was just incredible. And the reason that they all put in that passion is because again, we're all working on stuff that I thought was really cool. Um, and, uh, I've gotten to work on RTP for a while now and it was really fun and making a bunch of stuff was really great. And I wanted to give a special shout out to Justin and Fisher, uh, who've worked with us, you know, this whole time. Justin's working right now. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> he can't even put the camera on himself cause he's behind the camera. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> ah. Nice jersey. Nice jersey. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Fisher! Fisher. Uh, uh, yeah, the team that we've worked with, just everyone on RTP, uh, I mean, everyone at the company has been incredible, and everyone uh, that I worked with, this is hard, fuck. Uh, everyone was really cool, and uh, I loved all the stuff that we made, and I can't, uh, as weird, maybe grim as it sounds i can't wait uh to go down with the ship you know what i mean like we were talking about uh 
we were talking about whether or not we wanted to continue doing RTP. Um, now that, you know, we were really beholden only to ourselves. Uh, and we decided that we did for a couple of reasons. First of all, um, because we like doing the show. Uh, secondly, to give people like a fun send off. And then um, third, and this was uh, pointed out to me by uh, Mike, our sound guy, who said, uh, this is the perfect opportunity to tell people like, if you thought we were unhinged before, we only got 60 days now, baby. <laughs> we're not cutting anything out. But yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I know it's really like a, you know, it's a sad time, but ever I'm fully confident that everyone here is going to go on to just make even bigger, better, awesomer things. And uh, in the time that we have, I, again, for as maybe bad as it sounds, I'm really excited for the stuff that we're about to make because everyone now, like, who cares? Just make the fun, the funnest, the funnest of the fun thing that you've ever thought of. And uh, yeah, I'm excited for that. And I'm I'm just so lucky to have been able to work with so many incredibly talented, awesome people. So thanks for having me. That was a good time. I just want to I just want to send a shout out to um, a team that I'm very proud of personally. Um, I when I was at RTX this summer, I was helping out the store, and someone came up to me and they said are you Patrick from broadcast? I'm like, yeah. And they're like, oh, I didn't know you were still here. I don't see you anymore. I'm like, no, I'm still here. I'm, I'm just way behind the scenes. I'm like, no. And he goes, oh, like, broadcast has always been really special to me. And um, I've had a number of people come up to me who say, because of what your team did, I now do the same thing where I work. Um, your broadcast team is what I've always wanted to be a part of. Um, and that's what I think is one of the most unique things about this company is that it's not just about the talent. It's about every single person who has a part in what we do. And it reaches out to other people who want to do that. Like, I just worked in news my entire life, but to come here and inspire other people to do the kind of work that we do here. Like the crew, I always called them my crew, but it's our crew, our crew here. Every time we do something like this, they only get to participate through their part, through the camera or audio or switching or whatever. Um, but they know um, that's where they do their work. And they know that when things have to happen, um, they're the team that has to make it happen, and they always do. And uh, I just want to give you my sincerest gratitude and my appreciation for always showing up and doing your best. Oh, yeah. Look at him go. I'm going to be super quick because uh, I know I, I feel like everybody wants to say something. I started in 2015 and I was working behind the camera and live action and um, did that for about a year. And then slowly but surely I was being brought in front of the camera and I was very, very nervous because I did not know how all of you, where's my camera, would um, <laughs> would react to it because you were used to seeing such um, incredible people from the beginning days, you know, your, your squad, your crew. Um, but you guys welcomed me with open arms, and I just want to say thank you so much because from that moment that you welcomed me, my life has changed until now. So thank you very, very much. And that's all I want to say. Hi, uh, Larry, uh, longtime uh, employee, uh, first time laid off. <laughs> um, I, I do want to say, I know it's kind of been, the sentiment's been said multiple times. Uh, but thank you so much for you guys. Oh boy. Sorry, we'll get through this. We will. <laughs> thank you. I'm, I'm going to miss this place so much. I was, one of the things that stuck with me, it's been a wild couple days. 
And one of the things is I was, as I was calling my dad to go, hey dad, you got, I got laid off, woo, <laughs> um, is, is he said, you know, you'll be fine, you're very talented, all that stuff. And he said, it's really cool that you got to work at the place that you dreamed of working since you were in eighth grade. And, and it's true, I was a fan, me and my friends watched all the early seasons of RVB, bought the DVDs at GameStop. Uh, physical media, <laughs> it's really important. Um, and, and I just, you know, in, in much of the ways that a lot of my film friends in college were like, whoa, watching the behind the scenes on Lord of the Rings made me want to be a filmmaker. It was like watching the DVD commentaries of Red versus Blue made me want to get into internet production. Um, and it's just kind of magical that I got to not only do it and support all these wonderful, talented people, but then I tricked the company into getting to make board games my job. <laughs> and it's like, I know that Mar already talked about this being a magical place, but for, you know, some weirdo from Indiana to come in and not only get to support you know hey. what these people were doing but, <laughs> but hey, what the hell well, yeah, but you know, hey i'm it's, it's both of us man you know <laughs> just, i'm just you kidding know? larry i love you but but to to get to be a part of it and get to you know make and be a, you know be a part of this wonderful legacy and thank you so much for all your support and it's been wonderful that's all, that's all i gotta say <laughs> okay, whoever's whoever's next i got a mic <laughs> uh yeah i hi i'm ben ernst uh for anyone that doesn't know me i've worked in i've worked here since 2017 full-time and two years before that kind of just doing freelance stuff on million dollars button immersion i kind of just showed up and like worked on set with jessica uh and kind of just somehow ended up sticking around uh <laughs> until patrick gave me a job um <laughs> i'm gonna do my best to get through this without crying we'll see I know, uh, but um, I've been thinking a lot since yesterday about why I'm sad, and you know, there's a lot that it comes down to, uh, but I think what it really comes down to is I'm gonna miss the people here, and the passion and magic of this place. It's it can't, I can't describe it. It's literally indescribable. I think I've worked with everybody in this room in some regard. Uh, I somehow ended up working as a freelance production assistant. Somehow shifted into a full-time production assistant. And then have since then been an editor, a producer, fell in love with Extra Life. It's my favorite thing I think I've ever done here. Um, very close, at least, with Stinky Dragon. And then got hyper-focused on Dungeons and Dragons, man. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a hell of a drug. But, um, and now, like, been able to channel manage Stinky Dragon and work with some really, really passionate, incredible, amazing people that want to do puppets for a living, <laughs> you know? But, like, looking back at all of that, just, it's the people. It's the people here that I'm really, really gonna miss. If there's something we end up creating beyond this that moves on, like that magic will be there and I'm gonna love it, but I just know it's not gonna be the same without seeing these people day to day in this place. I have a question. Shane, did you teach the camera people to punch in when people start getting teary-eyed? <laughs> they are on top of it right now. On top of it, yeah. Um. I do not teach that, but <laughs> oh, but, there we go. but I am proud. <laughs> but I am proud of them. <laughs> Cry. Shane's like back. Cut to Sammy. Cut to Sammy. No, don't wait. I don't even know. I don't even know why. <laughs> I'm not. I I should be the last person even like tearing up. <laughs> It's just seeing other people cry. Like this, just this is making me sad as fuck right now. But like, yeah, yeah. BFT was awesome. I, I'm not gonna talk. Stop. To get away from me. I'll talk. Okay, Will. Yes. Okay. Um, hi, I'm Will, and this is Sammy. Um, some we're some pretty new faces around here. Um, we've been working here for just the last year, and um, also some of the younger talent here as well. Oh, okay. Okay. Honestly, I'm, okay. I'm right well, behind you, dude. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't talk. We didn't, we didn't think we'd live uh, to be 12 years old because we're 11 right now. Um, yes. I, I remember being uh, watching Red vs. Blue when I was like 8 years old. <laughs> you gotta stop with that. Okay, okay, my stop. fault. You were, you were 26 when yeah, Red vs. Right. Blue came out. Caroline's older than, or younger than the company. Um, <laughs> sorry. 
Should I stop talking? <laughs> My fault. No, but um, in all seriousness, um, this has been such an amazing year and it's flown by so fast. It feels like I'm like going home from summer camp. Like I have to like go back to like normal life now. Like it, it's, it's really <laughs> sad. <laughs> and um, I, you know, have been making just videos like in my room and stuff and this company has really like believing in us and um, allowing us to create things that I never would have thought I would be able to create like um, just to such a cool scale that and without like we, we had so much creative freedom here that I don't think is very common and money, <laughs> <laughs> oh god um, uh, but since, since, since we Thanks, uh, and since being here just it's so apparent to see like just the beautiful community and all of the love that has been um, shared even with like being showered with love since like we got here like it seemed like having everybody believe in us and I, I like find myself like running out of like responses to compliments like like I, I was like I just keep saying thank you like I need to he's been something saying more. I know a lot like wow you're so funny no. I know I'm like dang well I'm gonna stop I'm actually gonna stop talking but thanks everybody for everything and um I'm so grateful to be a part to be able to be a part of like the Rooster Teeth legacy that is being left behind because of this thank you to like the hundred people that worked on VFT. <laughs> right? It's not just There us. was like Nick who like set up audio in the tent when we were in the tent. We were like, <laughs> yeah. It's like, shit, fuck. Like, <laughs> I, I, the more I learn about this, I gotta talk into the mic, what am I doing? The more, the, the more I learn about like how this company is run, the, the, the respectfully to you guys, the more like you guys are wrong about like 99% of like the accusations to Rooster Teeth. Like this is like, this was pretty sick. Um, we had so much freedom, like the shit that we got away with. We, <laughs> so what can I say? That. Can I? No, no, sorry. <laughs> like we're out. able no. to do. That. Yeah, the sh the shit that we uh, wrote into the creative because it was necessary. Um, <laughs> we're, our characters, Sammy and Will, got hungry a lot. <laughs> we needed we needed a lot of food narratively. <laughs> I got. You need to what stop talking, talking about. So I this this one. Shout out Santiago, Shane, Hector, like. Armando for always like popping in and like trying to like get, help us in the right playing. direction. Everybody. Uh, that's not true. We drove. Kristen, like Justin, Juan, like I guess. Fisher, Fisher Diamond. Mike, Diamond. Like, Diamond. Yeah, Diamond, like just, I should, I should, I should not be almost crying right now. Like, this <laughs> it's is... okay, Sammy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Will. Yeah, Will and Caroline, like, thanks guys. This was. This was fun, and it sucks that it, I can't do it anymore. It is fun. Yeah. It is fun. I'm going to keep doing it. Come on. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to keep doing I mean, it. Y'all are going to be fine. Here, like, yeah, not on this stage, but awesome. it's all right. Can, uh, can I, I say, say something real quick? Because um, I've seen this a lot with you guys and, like, other people who work here who, you know, obviously this is really devastating for a lot of people, and I've seen a lot of employees who work here saying, well, I haven't been here that long, so I feel like I don't get to be as sad about this as you guys are. Or like, I feel bad being sad because like you guys have spent your whole life here essentially, but like whether you guys have been here a year or a month or like five years, three years, like whatever it is, like you all are important to Rooster Teeth and you're important to us and you guys are what helped shape this place. And like, <laughs> I know it's so fucking cheesy to say, but like, it really is a family here. As awful corporate speak, we hate saying a company is a family, but it is, it is a fucking family. And we love you guys. And we're so proud of like what you've been able to do this past year. And like, I know I speak for everyone when I say like, I cannot wait to see what you guys do next. 
and please don't forget about us. <laughs> no, but, but but to Barbara's point, if you've been here three days, three months, three years, 30 years, well, I don't know how you do 30. <laughs> but like, but seriously, it's like Olive Garden out here. When you're here, you're family. Yeah. And we have and unlimited breadsticks. Unlimited breadsticks, yeah. So many breadsticks. And a little bit of food poisoning. But but seriously, like, and thank you guys. The pass has run out. <laughs> but like, you know, I don't want to speak just to you two, but like, you're the face that here now, like Caroline's out there, and there's a lot of other, um, not even new, but like, uh, there's like, people have come on board every single year. And so like to them, I say like, thank you all so much, like for, for joining us, joining this wacky, crazy ride and like, and adding to it, bringing your passions. Like so many ideas that we've all had have been thrived upon by other ideas. And like, like, man, it's so easy to like, I don't even know where I'm going with this. Like, it's so easy to burn out, man, when you care so much that you don't stop working, that you don't stop thinking about this. And, and so like it, but you guys make it worth it. The audience, you guys make it worth it. When you guys come in with fresh ideas and fresh passion and new creative ideas, you challenge the existing status quo to like, to push themselves. And it's, and it's awesome. So like, I, I, I love that you guys came in with the fire that you had because I know that I felt it personally, like it reinvigorated something in me. So like, to echo what Barbara so poetically said, like, it doesn't matter how long you've been here or how long you've been watching. I'm, I, and I think I speak for all of us, like we're so deeply grateful for every single one of you. Um, and I'm gonna stop before I break again. <laughs> Cause, yeah. God, I just, yeah, I love you all. And, and, I, and I love this place and, and, and I'm just, I'm gonna miss it. We're not all gonna be together ever again and, and I, and I can't. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Chris is gonna die no. soon. She's like, and then what? We'll we'll never. <laughs> Chris, Chris might walk off a cliff. You know, I I don't know what he's gonna do. Um, Let's invite them all to a wedding. Please. Oh. Yeah. You guys are getting married. Yes. Um, R T X. R T X. X R T. X R T. Um, I don't know, man. It's there's just a lot to oh, grab man. and a lot to process, and um, I'm gonna I'm gonna let other people keep talking so I can go ahead and like uh -huh. gather myself again. I uh, I just want to say a couple of things real quick. Um, like I said, I'm the one of the leaders with Santiago of Gallos Unidos, which means I'm Latino and I'm very fiery, and if I don't believe in somebody. If I don't believe in them, I won't respect them. And I just wanted to say that this is not bullshit. And if you know me, you know that I don't ever bullshit. Um, I wanted to thank Jordan because I saw some in the chat earlier. It's like, why is Jordan speaking? And it's like, Jordan's speaking for a reason. And I respect him very much. And if you've never Googled him, do so. So you can see his resume. Because the reason why is because I respect the shit out of him. And the respect that he gave back to me and everybody here really, really meant a lot because he's a very, very accomplished person. And to have somebody like that in your corner every day telling you all, like, we can do this, we can do this. Like, this this thing right now would not happen if it wasn't him. I produce, I produce the all hands. We were, it was a conversation that he wanted to have that, like, they didn't want to have it that way. He wanted to have it that way. And I'll always respect that about him. And then, so thank you. And then Hannah McCarthy, I wanted to say, is one of my closest friends. She is one of my closest friends and somebody that I've worked with for over 10 years now. And she's amazing and I love her. And she's a great, 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 great person and a great leader. And I wouldn't, I literally wouldn't be here without her because she's the one who said, hey, you, there's an opening for your spot and you should come over. And then finally, to not be so downer for me at least, because I saw somebody in the chat also say, hey, we need one more weird Chris story. Is it true, Chris, that you heard this yesterday all of this during, when you're getting a massage? <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Um, are you like are you like a like a dog when a storm's coming? You lay down like you felt something well, coming, so no. you had to get a massage. All right. Well, you know, the, all, we have company all hands, and they're like an hour and a half meeting, um, and and uh, and and I wasn't scheduled to speak or anything, and so I I, I was thinking because I get really bad like tension in my neck where. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, because like, and it hurts to type in, that's one thing that helps. So I was like, it's like, oh, I can listen to the all hands and like, you know, and, and, you know, and it was, and I got a little more tense during, <laughs> during uh, uh, so yeah, I mean, I'm not going to, 
confirm nor deny. It's just like. <laughs> I mean, I'll confirm it. Yeah, he said that yesterday at <laughs> a meeting. 100% he was getting a massage. Denied. It's a multitasking, you know, it's like. <laughs> hey, I Googled Jordan Levin, by the way. Uh, Do you know this man owned the Chicago Red Stars, a soccer team? Oh, it says co-owner right here. <laughs> I'm reading the Wikipedia page. Oh, okay, yeah. Did you know he's wanted in 17 countries? Did you know that as a child, Levin states that he would take the... <laughs> okay, <that's dumb. laughs> Did You have a Wikipedia page. That's awesome. I don't know why you're shying away from that. That's cool. Can we still fire Mondo? Is that possible? Like, even though... You say tire? <laughs> Retire? Fire? Huh? Fire. Yeah, fire. What'd you say? John Mace, can we light a fire? <laughs> Okay. Um, Gary. Hey, everybody. Uh, I originally wasn't going to come in because I didn't think I could do this, and I still can't, but I got five minutes into watching from home, and I decided that I really needed to be here. Um, sorry to bring it down after all that. Um, uh, first off, just for anybody who's wanting some concrete news for stuff, we don't have it. Um, uh, unless something crazy changes, Camp Camp is coming out. We want to release it. It's it's basically done already. We we love it. We're really excited for you to see it. So, uh, and with Ruby, nothing's really different. We're still talking to the same partners. Um, so I don't really have info on that. Uh, we will let you know the second we have news. Uh, I, with all of my heart and everything I have, want to finish that story. It started over ten years ago, and it's been um, a you know, a third of my life, and I really want to finish what we started. So I'm going to do my best. Um, the reason I wanted to come in was two things. Um, I wanted to thank everybody because we wouldn't have been able to do this without all of you. And through all of the hardships and the cool things we got to do, I am so, I'm so fucking fortunate. <laughs> I started watching RVB in middle school. It's the reason I wanted to do this. It's the reason I wanted to do anything. And to see people say that things that I've done or things that other people have here have done have affected them in the same way is the greatest honor I can ever think of. So I just want to thank you all for watching. I want to thank you all for being fans and for supporting us and letting us do this fucking bullshit that we've been doing <laughs> for 21 years. And I, I've done a lot with my life and I'm really thankful for it. I hate, sorry, I just really wanted to say, I, I don't like giving advice to people. I don't think that I have done enough or know enough to give it, but I started thinking about it and I've never felt so sure that I wanted to say this to somebody, to everybody. And I'm sorry, this is going to be such a bummer. Look around right now and think about how good things are. It's not always going to be great. You might be going through a bad time right now, but look around and look at what's good in your life because you really don't know how long that's going to last. You really don't. I'm sorry, guys. You really don't. And more good things are going to come. But it's really important that you cherish what you have in that moment, every moment. So every day, think about what you have and be appreciative. That's all I got. I'm done. I love you guys. I really do. You know, Barbara was saying earlier that um, we are family and we really, you know, I think a lot of us never want to say that because it does sound like corporate bullshit. Um, but it's real. Like, <laughs> when I got married, uh, we were only supposed to have 50 people at the wedding. 
And um, I kept inviting people from work because <laughs> I couldn't say no to anybody. Everybody was so excited to be there. Everybody wanted to be there. And um, we ended up with 175 people, which Don <laughs> killed me for. <laughs> and then we ended up, you know, streaming it on Instagram so that a lot of you could watch it. Um, and that that's what this is about like it's it's always been about that and um there's so many stories like that that we all have and it's crazy and and i know that that's that was what kind of the bright light that really made it attractive to a lot of people who wanted to be a part of this i've never experienced something where people were just they wanted so badly to be a part of this and um you know with good reason. Um, there are times that I think we all, at some point or another, probably lost motivation, questioned, you know, our time here, how much longer can I do this? This is so hard, because it is hard. It's hard work. Um, but I think every person who I ever had that conversation with said, I just can't leave the people here. I can't. Mm -hmm. And um, so that's, that's what you're seeing and feeling today, for sure. Um, I also wanted to say, like, through all of this, I think it's really easy to be angry. Um, I know a lot of us feel a lot of emotions, anger being one of them. Um, and I know that there's a lot of people I see in chat who are upset and angry and want to be angry at someone and blame something. <laughs> Um, but I really encourage you guys to channel that into support and to excitement about what's next for all the people here. Um, and I, I just want to encourage that just go forth with positivity and support and love rather than holding bitterness or anger in your heart for what caused this or who caused this or anything like that. It's Nothing good is going to come of that, but I think a lot of good could come from you guys showing all these people support and love as we figure out what's next for everybody. So I just wanted to say that. Um, John, did you want to say something? <laughs> no? This is on the spot. This is on the spot. Um, I can't stay long. I've got to go do dad things uh, in a second. Um, that's not an actual excuse. Like, like I actually got to go do dad things. I'm not trying to just get out of here. Um, but uh, I thank you so much for the time here. Uh, I've, I've been here for, uh, for just short of 11 years. Um, tricked the company into hiring me um, and then tricked them to keep me for a while and uh, let me do a silly improv show with uh, Patrick and broadcasts and everybody here that was really fun and then tricked them into letting me do D and D and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, but, um, it's a special place. I'm one of the few people, uh, the older people here who like has had a career before here and like worked at other corporate places and stuff like that. It's like, this is a very different place. Um, this is a very different vibe. Uh, I went through so much here that the company was like way much more familial and helpful that other places wouldn't have been. Went through a divorce. The company was very supportive and helpful in that. Uh, came out of the closet. The company was very supportive of that. Um, and uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm sad and upset and but excited for the future and all that kind of stuff uh but the one thing i i do know is that uh there's just not another place that's like this um so i, I will be sad to only be able to look back on this with memories and and know that this was a special time and i got to i got to be there during that little moment and so um i'm lucky in that way and i appreciate that thank you so much ah, i'm i'm leaving I'm leaving. This is it. You got rid of me. Bye. <laughs> so it's like open then, John? Like it's for anyone to take? <laughs> I'm taking that one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll say something. So I'm Maxie. I'm the senior social manager. I've been here for seven years. I don't think I've ever been on camera. So I'm like only slightly terrified. But 
Oh my God, what am I even gonna say? I don't even know what I'm gonna say. Okay, no, I do. So, <laughs> so yeah, no, I feel, I've always felt incredibly lucky every single day to come to work and be like, work with people side by side with people who are so talented, so passionate, and just like so excited to be at work every day. And just every meeting is filled with laughter and so much creativity. And I'm like, literally I've been thankful for every single day that I've been here. And, um, you know, I've been trying not to be so sad that I'm not going to get to do that every single day anymore and I'm going to have to like you know go and do something else but I I don't know I feel like we're kind of hoarding talent here to be completely honest <laughs> I think there's a lot of talent I'm surrounded by so many talented people every day with so many ideas and they're all in this one place and I am so excited to see everyone like spread their wings and move you know close and far and just go to a bunch of different companies a bunch of different places you know do their own passion projects and everyone like I'm sure everyone's gonna like work together in some capacity and then other people are gonna go do their own thing and I'm just like really stoked to see what everyone does and yeah just I don't know that's all that's all I have to say <laughs> thanks y'all I could go I mean I've just been holding this mic for like an hour this Hey everybody, it's Santiago Suarez Ruiz, BRG leader with Gallos Unidos and Hector Gonzalez. I've been at this company. Whoa, 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 okay, give me a second, give me a second. And the channel manager for BFD. Uh, I just, the reason why. Uh, no, I've been behind the camera since 2018 in animation. I worked with Carrie, I worked with so many people at this company, and the past five plus years have gone by so fast. I was 22 when I started. I was their age, and now I manage them. It's crazy. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to highlight how this company has not only believed in me, somebody who started as a coordinator in art, which now I'm a channel manager, it's crazy, uh, but the amazing managers I had along the way. Um, not a single one has, I've never had a work environment where I was like, Oh shit, I gotta go into work. Uh, might as well just stay home. No, it's, hey, these people actually believe that I could do better and be bigger than who I am. And through that, five years later, I am somewhere where I would have never thought myself being. Um, you know, managing BFT, being part of Gallos Unidos for three years. That's a lot. Working with Latinitas, a local charity, which is like, I, it's something I love doing. And just because it's ending in 60 days um, doesn't mean that it's over for me. I am in such a better spot now because of it um, and so proud of what I do that I always point back. I've never been shy. But I don't know. I always just like, yeah, Rooster Teeth, number one. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to share that. And last thing, I know Ice Spice, you're watching. <laughs> we have 60 days. I know you're here for South By. Uh, just come on down. BFTV still, we're still filming. So Ice Spice, please. <laughs> it's really, it's really funny that you said that because I, I, I've joked about it before. Oh, I got a microphone right here. Yeah, you think you need? No, it. give me that one too. I, uh, this is the only job I've ever had where I haven't like gone and taken like hour and a half long shits. You know what I mean? Like where you just go hang out in the bathroom on your phone for an hour and a half. This is the only job I've ever worked where I'm like, no, nah, I want to be. I don't want to be in the bathroom. Take those at home. Yeah, because the bathroom's nice. I gotta say. <laughs> And the hidden bathroom's good. Why my bathroom. signal? Okay, but Secret I never took good. an hour and a half long shit here. And I could have. And I've done it everywhere else. And I will do it again. Please. <laughs> Future employers, take note. You can hire <laughs> Mondo. Remember to always shit on company time. Yeah. I want to give a shout out. I see Adam Baird in chat right now. He is an unsung hero of Rooster Teeth. So, Adam, love you, man. It's, it's That's like true. When you we start have... talking, it's like there's a timer on how long until your voice breaks, and then it's like if you can get past that, then you're okay. But we have folks... no, it's it's been so cool. We've we've done so many great things in here. I thought I thought Mondo was going to talk about famous people coming in. We we've, we've had some. There have been some weird weird things that have happened here. Like oh hey, <laughs> Lonely Island is is in the main studio right now, and they just destroyed the set. And it's like oh hey, you're going to play GTA with Kamel Nanjiani. Like 
what what and just like we've had this wild wild like fever dream of existence here at rooster teeth over the last 21 years and it's been so cool and i hope that ever i hope that you guys appreciate well the, the stuff that we were able to scrap together somehow and uh it's been it's been so awesome and i'm gonna miss that i'm gonna i'm gonna miss the what's going on today like why, why are the bft kids running around with a dune mug like what, what's going <laughs> like it's it's been so much fun, and it, is, it, it has been fun for me as someone who's been around forever. I'm sure Carrie can attest to this, where it's like when we started to where it is now, it's so radically different than what we began with. And it has been so much fun watching this new, fresh, young talent. How would I say it like that? Watching this, this, this talent. Fresh, young. Fresh. They're, I mean, look at these guys. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this fresh, supple, young talent. Just, their skin is so, you, okay. you want to drain the life out of them. Um, no, but it's been great watching people succeed and, and, you know, going on to different things and being surrounded by really, really talented people and getting to work with these folks. It's been just, it's been, it's been an honor for me to, uh, to be here and watch what do you, what is wrong with you two? Come on. <laughs> I've said nothing but kind things about you. <laughs> is, oh, I think you're bowing. I don't know what the hell is going on. I take back everything I said about BFT. No, 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 no I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Those, those guys are awesome. Stay like that. Why are they doing that? <laughs> <laughs> but thank you thank you everyone watching everyone at home yeah and again special shout out to adam baird and chat that dude he, he kept the site up and running for so long i can get, i got my voice now so he kept the site up and running for so long so much of the back end of all of our extra life stuff was him running that and making sure it worked and he has a heart of gold and uh, he made the smart move and got out of america so good on him but anyway love you guys and i see someone that really means a lot to me just standing off frame and i'm gonna call him out jeff i love you buddy Come here, come here, man. I've hugged you so many times on the stage. <laughs> We've also kissed a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, come over. Oh man, I don't really want to talk. Uh, now you really should bow down. <laughs> uh, uh, my name's Jeff, and I'm a, <laughs> I'm a co-founder, and I've been here for a little over 21 years. <laughs> and um, I used to I used to talk directly to you a lot. In in times of crisis in this company. And uh, I'm sorry, but I'm not that guy anymore, and I don't have that in me. Um, I'm so completely underwater emotionally right now, and my heart is broken for the wonderful people that are in this room and that are and have been associated with this company. And uh, I guess I just don't want the fact that I've been here for a couple years longer than them to have any outsized importance in this moment. So I'm going to shut up and listen to them some more. I didn't mean to shut it. Down. <laughs> <laughs> you got here late, man. That's Jeff, I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> I'm I mean, glad we went long then. <laughs> I mean, you didn't. So scared it was going to be over. <laughs> you didn't need to come. You know, you were here all day yesterday. Like, I was recording fuck face. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, you know, there's, you, you know, Barbara alluded to Chelsea. There's, there's always these things you read. I mean, it seems sometimes in chat, just sort of assumptions. People, people make some of the worst assumptions, and. Um, you know, just not true. Like I, I, you know, most of you trust what everyone says here. Um, you know, it would it be it get, give everyone the benefit of the doubt. You know, if you can. Um, you know, we. Uh, I, I, I've never been seen a company try and be more honest and open um, about everything you know, and open themselves up the way they do. That comes with so much vulnerability 
and exposure. And it's, it's I mean, I could never do it. And I, I, what they've all, you know, the highs and lows and what, you know, they have to go through to, uh, to expose themselves to, you know, the good and the bad. And, you know, it's, it's just, it's got to get, it's got to get better. Uh, 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 you know, and the boundaries have to get drawn in a respectful way. Um, you know, everybody's a human being here. And, uh, uh, the, you know, these folks gave you everything, gave you everything of theirs. So I just hope going forward that everybody can respect, you know, there are a lot of questions about what's going to happen with this, what's going to happen that with that, what's going to happen with this channel, what's going to happen with that. A lot of angry comments about Warner Brothers Discovery. I'm not, I'm not going to defend any big company. That's not my place. But they're being very open and amenable about trying to allow people to continue on. You know, if they want to continue on with things. You know, um, if there's people want to help support things. You know, uh, and 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 underwrite them. Like they're open to everything and. Uh, there is going to be a lot of stuff that's going to continue, but you know, right now we knew we were coming out and not going to have a lot of answers. But that's because everybody here needs some time to process and figure out, you know, what do they want to do next? You know, what do they want to continue and what do they not want to continue with? So, you know, you'll know when when they know they're going to need your support. Uh, but you know, we'll do our best to try and answer some of the questions. Um, you know, there, there's a desire to protect as much of this as possible, to make as much available as possible. Um, you know, this company is going to do the right thing um, as best as it can. Um, you know, it, this is a really tough space right now. You know, um, we talk about it a lot internally. It's a really tough space, really tough for creators to make it work. Really tough. Um, and so this isn't, we've been, we've been supported. This company has been underwritten for over 10 years now, you know, by various investors, various groups. And, uh, you know, when, when whoever chooses to go and do what they're going to do, that's when they're going to need your support. So it's awesome people want to contribute now. It's awesome people want to try and back the company right now. But, you know, don't do that right now. Support individuals, but wait to see what happens, and then, and then support them. And if you love other creators, support them, and and just let people know. You know this myth that, you know, you can, you can just make it by, you know, making videos and putting them up, and boy, you get tons of money and advertising all that. Like, it's it's hard. You know that that you gotta support the stuff you love. You really do, and. That's not meant to shame any of y'all that, you know, that I, uh, there, there's a lot here, you know, there's a lot here to support. Um, it's just to say, you know, per carries, you know, appreciate what you got and, and, and when there's stuff you love, you know, support it. Um, Jeff, you don't have to talk, but I'm gonna talk about you for a second. Sorry. <laughs> Um, you are one of the most amazing people I've ever met and you and the founders, I think started something at this company that is one of my favorite things about this company is you're always about giving chances and letting people try things and letting people grow. When I started this company, I was just a fucking weird 19 year old that got hired to, to, <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> I brought him over constantly. <laughs> God, I love you. And they got hired to do Machinima. And when I wasn't doing that, I would just go sit on y'all's couch while you play video games. And uh, instead of kicking me out, you just talk to me. And eventually I got to do more stuff with y'all. And, and that alone was amazing. And then there came a time where you had to sit me down and say, hey, you're doing animation stuff and you're doing Achievement Hunter stuff. And 
we need you to to pick and i i picked animation stuff yeah and <laughs> and it and you never held it against me no and you never you know stop being nice to me and you never stopped inviting me to things be because you you just wanted me to have a chance to do something and and i think that that started with y'all and i think that that's been something that's been true with every fucking person in this company i don't know how many people have come up here and said i started in this role and i ended up in this role and that's what happened here because i think we all care about each other and and i'm just so thankful that i got to experience that and I am I'm so thankful that sometimes it is okay to meet your heroes. <laughs> I love you guys. I really do. I wish I'd had that experience with Charles Barkley so many years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Carrie. Um, Jeff, I also... Jeff, you mean so much to me. I love you. I love you so much, dude. Um, I know Trevor and I consider you like just family. And what you've done for us and for all of us here at Rooster Teeth is like indescribable. Um, not only from your work and your leadership, but also just by example and by supporting us. And you've had to be the one to go in front of the audience countless times to defend us and to stand up for us and to be the voice for us when we felt like we couldn't speak for ourselves and we didn't know how to how to find the words or what to say you did that for us and I don't know if it's ever really I don't know if we've ever really shown you that gratitude and you're just such a deeply good person and I my only wish is that everybody in this world could know the real person that you are um, and how deeply good and kind um, and wonderful you are. Um, and I think we are where we are today and we are who we are because of you. 100%. Um, and also Gus, even though he's getting his butt checked, you know, <laughs> um, Gus has also been, I, you know, he's not here with us right now, but you know, Gus is another one of those people who's just has been such an incredible example. And you guys didn't have to be here for as long as you were. And you stuck around and you you set examples for us and you were here for us. Um, and just you guys are just wonderful people. And this place wouldn't be what it is without you. Um, and, you know, Rooster Teeth was an interesting name to have chosen. You know, I'm just I didn't pick it. you didn't pick it. So. <laughs> Fuckface is a curious choice too. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I just, I, after all of this, I just want you to know how loved you are, um, and we'll always love you. And um, just thank you for everything. I still can't really talk, but I'll just say that it's been the honor of my life to get to work with all of you, and I'm just so proud of the people that you've become. I, I love you all so dearly. <sighs> I'm not going to talk about you. <laughs> it, directly. Um, I met you, Matt, Bernie, and Gus when I was 14. And, <laughs> and I was so shell-shocked. <laughs> that was 18 years ago, shit. <laughs> I met y'all when I was a kid and I was so excited to meet these people that were doing a thing on the internet. And I was like, oh, that's cool. The only thing I know on the internet is Neopets. You can do more than that. And then fast forward to a couple of years later, I get a temp job here for two weeks. I was just supposed to like fill the fridges with soda and deliver people's mail to their desk. 
and um, break my nose on a door in front of Joel Heyman, which is to this day my most embarrassing moment at this company. Um, because he was so concerned, and I just had blood going everywhere. Um, <laughs> but I, I got the first experience of community with the Laser Team crowdfunding campaign, and Bernie asked me to stay and said, hey, can you do this? I was like, no, but sure. <laughs> At the time, I was the youngest person in the company, by the way. So it's really weird seeing yourself not be that anymore. Um, I, w I was younger than Carrie, and he was very excited. But we got acquired by full screen. And I remember being so fucking upset that we were being acquired. I was like, no. Yes, yes. No, we can say it. Oh. That was a horrible day at the company, and we were so mad and so upset, and it was like, why would I stay here? We're being owned by some corporate thing. <laughs> and I stayed because of my loyalty to y'all. Like, I stayed for Matt and Bernie and you and Gus and Jack and everyone else who was here at the time. Carrie was weird, but I liked him. <laughs> like, <laughs> it no, it hasn't changed. and. Then we got acquired again, and then there was a merger, and there was all this. And each time it was like, why am I still wanting to be here? We have the community, but we have this family. Like, I met my partner at Rooster Teeth. I've met my best friends here. Like, And it's also just wanting to keep y'all proud for the thing that you created 21 years ago that is still around. It's been a real special journey here that this is what we've been able to do, all of us together. Because we've done a lot. We made multiple games. We've done live action shows. We did multiple movies. Barbara had the most epic crime scene ever in Bloodfest. I'm sorry, even today doesn't hold a candle to that scene. That scene was choice. It was so good. We've had an amazing anime. We have so many animated shows. We've had multiple discords, subreddits and everything, which, hey, if anyone is a friend of Reddit and knows how we can get the Red Web Podcast subreddit, call her. Um, we brought back the Rooster Teeth podcast in a whole new form. We launched multiple new brands over the last couple of years. Like, we had worldwide events. We've sold thousands and thousands of dollars worth of merchandise, some of which I don't know how were made. Front back, I'm looking at you. It's been a wild ride of 21 years. And it's going to look really good on our resumes. <laughs> OK, I don't want to talk anymore. I would be remiss also if we didn't talk about Matt and Bernie. Um, those two guys along with Jeff and Gus, have been such incredible leaders, um, and they gave the majority of us here all a shot at this um, and took a chance on us. And they really pioneered something amazing. I mean, from so many you know, articles and videos I've seen online of people talking about Rooster Teeth closing, a lot of them talk about how Rooster Teeth really was the example of online content. It was, you know, your first movers in a lot of what we do in this industry. And a lot of that is thanks to Jeff and Matt and Bernie and Gus and all the founders of the company um, who really just had a dream and just made it happen. And then made some great choices of employers and employees. Um, all the people you see here, I don't think would be here without them. And I know I wouldn't be. And I still remember when I was graduating college and I didn't know what I was going to do, uh, getting that message from Bernie saying, hey, uh, we really want to find a way to work with you. We really want to see if we could get you down to Austin. I remember that moment. I remember that message um, like it was yesterday. And it's always going to be burned inside my brain of the moment that changed my life forever. Um, it's what led me here to you all. Um, it's given me the best friends I could hope for as my fiance, love of my life. Um, 
and it's I just want to if I don't know if they're watching but thank you guys for taking a chance on me and all of us and for starting this amazing company um, and I'm really proud of what we've all done together and that we've made it 21 years because that's also just an incredible thing in itself and I love you guys <laughs> Can yeah, and I, I guess just to that too, I I know this got mentioned at the beginning, but there are so many people not in this room or in the you know, in the in the broadcast studio that are a huge part of this and have and have helped us get here. And I also want to thank even the people who just aren't currently employed here for whatever reason that have helped build yeah. us to where we are. You're not forgotten, you were a part of this too. There every department, there have been hundreds of people over the years that have contributed to this company. And we appreciate it, I appreciate it. Um, and, you know, and, and, um, and obviously, uh, uh, and, and, you know, obviously I really appreciate Monty and everything that he did for this company and for us and for giving me a chance and for giving a lot of us a chance, and uh, I, just, I would also be remiss if we just didn't mention him because um, he is it's just a huge part of the history of this company. So I just want to thank everybody who's ever been a part of this company in any way. You know, you're appreciated, and we thank you. I, I do have a quick little thing I think I'll say uh, from one founder to some others since they can't be here. And I don't have to look him in the eyes when I say it. Um, I really don't know what to say about Gus. Other, it's like, what do you say about your left arm? You know, he's the most comfortable I've ever been in my entire life is when I'm in his presence. He's the greatest friend I could have ever had or asked for. Um, Matt and Bernie, I don't like as much, but I really, really like them. <laughs> I love them so much. Um, but they don't, he doesn't, like, Bernie doesn't feel like a leg or anything. Um, but getting to start this company with Matt and Bernie was very special for a lot of reasons, but f the most prominent for me was Bernie was the smartest person I ever met. And Matt Hollum is still to this day the most talented person I have ever met. And I was, and even though we're the same age and I'm far better looking than them and you would think I'm five to seven years younger. <laughs> maybe eight. They have been my mentors my entire career. And I've never told them that. They don't know that. I never wanted them to know that. It's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> but everything I've done for 21 years has been in an attempt to live up to the example that they've set. And I just want to say thanks to the three of you. And now I really am going to shut up. I'm done. I also wanted to take a moment to say uh, <clears throat> a big special shout out to Funhouse out in Los Angeles. Um, there, Funhouse is some of the most talented people that I've ever met in my entire life uh, and that do things in a way where like, I was having a conversation with Dan Heron, uh, who does editing stuff. Hirons? Okay, fuck. <laughs> Anyway, big fan of Dan, <laughs> everything he does. Uh, LinkedIn connection. <laughs> he already blocked me. Um, yeah, about just like how, uh, you know, I've been trying to get better at editing and stuff. And he's like, yeah, well, you came from Funhouse. And what they do is just like, you can't replicate it. They just have a style. And I was like, yeah, well, I was in a Funhouse. I wasn't that good. <laughs> they are every, in everything that they do from producing to editing to the social, even the social work that they do. And um, just like everything that they touch is just so good and unique and has their incredible voice to it. And they've gone through so many different eras of Funhouse. And uh, this current one is, I think, one of the best groups of people on the internet making content um, and just having fun with each other. And so everyone at Funhouse uh, is both incredibly talented and incredibly um, amazing, like great friends. I 
still play video games with them like every single day um but also a, a huge shout out to elise and james who uh yeah Elise and James, who are just incredible, um, both you know leaders and people who are always willing to give advice. I wouldn't call them mentors because I think they would hate it, uh, but they are just always there to give you direction and whatever is in your best interest, they will help you with. You know, they're just incredible and also just a huge, huge thank you to Omar De Armas out there who just. It's just like a fucking load-bearing rock of fun house that just is there, keeping everything running uh, efficiently, greatly, and also just like, I don't know, man. He just, it, he is so great at his job, and uh, I cannot stress to you enough how uh how thankful i am for everyone out there but especially the willems uh too and um and to omar so thank you to funhouse and uh i wish you know wish we were here i you know i, I just want to echo something that y'all are all talking about and Barbara, you, you, you know, you mentioned it, that, you know, the founders are here, you know, again, this is, this was really sort of impromptu. So this has turned into a lot more time than we were planning. Mm -hmm. And, um, it's turned into something that, uh, a lot more people showed up than we expected. And so this shouldn't be taken as the goodbye stream by any means, because it's absolutely not fair to the people who couldn't be here for whatever reasons. We have, we also have employees that post, post pandemic have, are, are around the country and in different countries, you know, as well. And so they all can't be present, you know, and, and part of this. Um, and I'm so glad you, you called out Funhouse. I mean, they delivered us a great, huge audience today um, to lead into this, uh, you know, thousands of people watching them and um but but that point you made barbara about you know jeff being here and gus being here mapping her name even bernie's very present and behind the scenes you know you, you so many y'all talk to him all the time and um that is incredibly rare you don't find companies where founders build a company and then stay with the company. And you also don't find founders who know when it's time to try to seed the stage for other people. And there's always a lot of criticism that I see and hear about, why aren't they here? And they don't, suggestions, they don't care. Um, there's incredibly gracious people who care immensely and are present in a way that most of y'all don't get a chance to see, but that we all see. And again, many of us talk and they influence the content and they're very present. And, um, and they just, they don't, they don't want, you know, as, as I've heard them say, they don't want to be Saturday Night Live on the 35th anniversary with the original cast, you know, still there. They wanted to create opportunities for other people, wanted to create space for other people. So um, that, that, that is one of the things that makes Rooster Teeth very special amongst many. And it's not just the founders. There's a lot of people here who I think stayed here because they felt a sense of loyalty and dedication to the place, even though it's gotten more difficult by the day. Um, you know, we've, we've been really honest about how challenging things have been, and it's not a rooster teeth issue. It's a industry wide issue. And, uh, and they stayed here, um, and turned down opportunities. And I think did that because of the examples, you know, that the founders set, but also to be loyal to everyone else who's here and to be loyal to all of you. That's, 
again, that's something you don't see. And as hard as this is, I, I think, I think this is bittersweet too. Um, it's, it's going to free up a lot of really creative and talented people to, to do even greater things. Um, and, uh, and, and you're all going to get to be a part of that and you're going to get to be able to support them. And um, the connections that recombine and reform out of this are going to be really extraordinary. So, you know, maybe the end of, of, of what is defined by this geography of this place and this space, but it's, it's definitely not the end of Rooster Teeth, not the end of this community, not the end of the creative force and the life force that, you know, is this place and is not just us, but is all of us, all of you out there. You're a hell of a guy, Jordan. So are you, Jeff. So are you. So are so many people here. It's been such an honor to get to work with you the last few years. The honor is all mine. You're the only good boss I've had here. <laughs> <laughs> it was a low bar. <laughs> <laughs> Chelsea, oh, <laughs> I don't know how to wrap this thing up. We've I, gone so long, but there are some cool there are some really important questions. Yeah, we're I can to like speed run some answers of things. Yeah, let's do that because we want to start sending the record straight about some things. Yeah. Even if we have non-answers. Please come to the website. Well, first of all, where should where should they go if they have questions and where should they go to get information as we start to share Mods, what is going on. You've been preparing for this. You know where the links are. So moving forward, all information that's coming out about Rooster Teeth, what's happening with all the individual podcasts, X, Y, and Z, insert title here, type of merchant, literally everything. It will be on roosterteeth.com. There's a group that we have, community official Rooster Teeth News. So updates will be posted in there. These will also be amplified in other community spaces, such as those of you who live in the Death Battle Discord or the Rooster Teeth Discord or any of the multiple subreddits. But the official place will always be roosterteeth.com. That's where we'll have updates. You may also see them coming from the shows that you watch. I know Fuckface and Face Jam so far have both posted something on social media. The TLDRs. There's a lot we still have to figure out, but we're going to keep doing things and let you know when we do more things. Like, there's the future. And that's really the sentiment overall right now for content. As Trevor said earlier, everyone here wants to keep doing things. The next step is to figure out how to keep doing that. And as those decisions are made, that information gets shared with you. And I think, I don't, I don't want to speak for everybody, but part of the decision and it's unfair to expect that decision to come quickly. And again, we've, we have some time, which is nice. You know, that doesn't always happen. Um, companies like ours are, are, aren't always given the time um, to try and figure things out, but there may be new starts. That may be trying to continue, you know, something existing. So, uh, you know, that's, we, we, we're starting from a place of giving some space to the creative teams and then letting them tell us what they want to do and then working to try to figure out how to make that happen within a corporate, big corporate entertainment company that is predisposed to trying to figure that out as well. Also, I realized I apparently made an oopsie. I said fuck face without a beep, and I don't actually know how to say fuck face with the beep. Doing it. I know. <laughs> uh, anywho, there's another question that I'm It's not our name anymore anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, another question that I'm seeing in chat is, like, people are asking, like, how can I follow everyone here? Like, especially those that, like, 
Hector and Shane and Santiago, you're not like constantly on camera. So you don't have like the presence that really starts to embed you in front of the audience, but they still want to find ways to support you in your new endeavors. So one of the things that Jordan and I had floated around was basically creating an opt-in where everyone in the company can send us their social handles of how they want to be connected to the audience, to the community. And we put this in a one-stop shop for you to go and find all the people to support. Because as someone was pointing out in chat earlier, you may not be able to like support with FIRST anymore as something that was so important for us for so long, but your support still comes from supporting the individuals in the next creative endeavor. Someone might go and start doing something new where they launch a Patreon, might be any other flavor of that, and you supporting them through that because that direct support is what allows the original content creators to keep doing what they want that you actually like. Watching it isn't just enough. It needs to be more. And that's going to be the support that next takes everyone here to the new thing. I think that's a great idea. And if you want an easy way to follow everyone, you can go to at Mondo Does. <laughs> <laughs> also, that's M-A-N-D-O Does Stuff, all one word. Thank you so much. <laughs> Excellent. It's still on him. <laughs> <laughs> I really didn't. I thought they were cut away by now. Cut the Sammy. You're Please. Cut the, cut the Sammy. <laughs> no. Thank you, everybody. All right. <laughs> Chelsea, what are other big questions that came? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> Uh, stopping the spread of misinformation. Y'all, like, we put out a memo that came from Jordan Levin. It was in countless news articles. It was on Reddit. It was on Discord. It was on the website. It was retweeted. It was shared. It's in a lot of fucking places. <laughs> I kindly ask you read it from beginning to end. <clears throat> Don't skip words. Don't jump around paragraphs. But read it, because I can nearly guarantee you that your question is going to be answered. And it will also let you know that um, Rooster Teeth didn't shut down yesterday. That uh, we're like here. We're like working. Um, we didn't shut down. We said we are shutting down and there is going to be a wind down period. During that wind down period, which is 60 days, like things will start to slow down. And that is going to be the time that you'll see more information and stuff come out. But no, we didn't fucking shut down yesterday. Can we give a shout out to for the <laughs> Can we give a shout out to, you to the people posting that photo in front of these arches that's like 15 years old, by the way? Yes. I've seen that photo. It's like half those people haven't worked here in like a decade. So anyway, love y'all. Thank you for that. It's great. Um, I have a question. Uh, do you think they'll let me buy Strangerhood for $6? Seven. Seven. Se what? Eight. Nine. <laughs> Auction. That's how the process is going to work. <laughs> there was something that I was seeing pop up a bit as well. And I mean, I'll be honest, sometimes I also get confused as well, is the roost. And are like our own and operated podcast, are they a part of it? Or what is like the roost current future? What's it look like? That's a great question. So the roost is really not like a, a, a consumer facing name. It's just the way it's what we call our podcast network. And the podcast network started uh, with our own podcast, but then over time, friends of the company were looking to figure out, you know, where they could get sales support, where they could get marketing support, merch support, other things. And it expanded and it's become a top 10 podcast network which is phenomenal. And it has about 75 different partners who are not, um, uh, you know, employees of the company who do their own podcasts um, that are very 
you know, different everywhere. And um, uh, the team of The Roost, uh, which is sales and partnership support and operations, was not part of uh, the notification yesterday, not part of being notified that they're going to have their jobs eliminated. Um, because Warner Brothers Discovery wanted to see uh, if there was interest from outside parties in the roost. And so um, they are keeping it going um, so that the roost can stay operational to see if there's a sales opportunity for the roost. And if there isn't, then those employees will join us onto new adventures and they're very well aware of that. But um, if there is a path to continue with the roost, um, then the roost will continue with another company probably, you know, helping out their podcasting efforts. Podcasting also, you know, uh, a business that has gone through a lot of bumpy roads, but we're really proud of the roost that it's an incredibly hardworking team, a very honest direct team in a space where that isn't always the case, who care really deeply for the partners, uh, and, and a team that works very hard on their behalf. Now that does not mean that our podcasts will necessarily continue. They certainly won't continue as rooster teeth podcasts. But if some of the creators here would like to continue with their podcasts or their channels, again, Warner Brothers Discovery is very open to trying to figure out an arrangement for them to, able to be able to do so. And then in that case, it will be really a decision for the creators to make as to whether or not they would like to be part of the Roost Network or they would like to find another network to sell the advertising and represent them and help them grow their podcast. Is that helpful? And it late? is. And for those of you who are either tuning in late or you've been trying to like listen in and out while doing something else, because we have definitely gone over time, but that's okay. <laughs> yes, thank you. Also, major shout out to engineering and broadcast who are and content ops who are frantically trying to figure out how to extend this live stream without having to stop it and restart it. And they did it seamlessly without any of us noticing. Amazing. Amazing. And all the moderators. Got all the mods. mods. Product and engineering have been making sure chat hasn't crashed because chat hasn't been stretched like this since 2020. It's I didn't, <laughs> I didn't say no, anything. We will be taking like the answers that we've talked about here, like they will be translated into an easily digestible and easily shareable that makes sense way so we can start talking about it and it makes sense. Our hope is the YouTube channels mm -hmm. will stay active, uh, not posting new content unless they shift into other hands or the hands of some of the people here but that content will live on the youtube channels there will be a place for them to exist that's something we'd like to do and are working on and again warner brothers discovery is amenable to there's just there's a lot to figure out it's a 21 year old company with a lot of stuff in a lot of places so we just need there's going to be a lot of people here working really hard to try and figure that all out. And the answer that you're probably going to see a lot is something akin to the statement. As those decisions are made and finalized, more information will be shared with you on roosterteeth.com. That is going to be very consistent as we figure it all out so we can share it with you. And that includes, like, I see questions about first memberships, about gift cards in the store, about merchandise, which if you go to store.roosterteeth.com, there's a sale going on, go ham, go crazy. Um, but all these questions and answers will be coming out as we have the answer to it right now. 
And um, even though Jordan told me not to make an agenda, I'm type A, so I have one. Uh, <laughs> we hit all of my notes. Oh, that's great. Look, we're going to try to be as transparent. Oh, God, it's, sort of, it's become such a corporate speak. Word. <laughs> we're going to try and be as open as possible, as honest as possible, as direct as possible. We, we do not want there to be surprises. Ha ha, yesterday was a big surprise, but mm -hmm. we do not want there to be surprises. We, 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 we want everybody to be prepared for whatever's, you know, going to be happening. And again, try to try to wind things down properly, hand them off where possible, try and take care of as much as possible. Your questions are super helpful because there's things that maybe we don't realize we're not communicating clearly enough, mm -hmm. or there's things that maybe we didn't think about. Um, give us a little patience when we don't have the answer yet, but we're not trying to run and hide and we're going to try and again, do this as much as possible. Oh, and RVB, like, guess what? You still get the final season of RVB. Yes. There'll be news on that next week. Mm -hmm. It's specifically where, when, how, but, uh, RVB restoration still moving forward with, with plans for that. And, oh, you know, I did see questions about like, refunds first refunds uh, uh, there's so many of you who watch in so many countries around the world uh, each country each state in our country has different rules about when things end and how long it takes and the desire and the goal is if you're six month you're 12 month obviously to try and take care of you uh, we do have to go through a lot of lawyers who do a lot of analysis to see exactly what is required in those countries, in each state. Um, you know, we have to go through data privacy laws. Um, so uh, there are questions that we are very dependent upon lawyers to review and provide guidance. Uh, as you can imagine, some of you uh, transact relationships with us directly. Some go through Google, through Apple, through Shopify, through Spotify, um, through Amazon, with Twitch. Uh, that all is very, very complicated. So it's going to take us a little while to sort through all that um, and get real clarity, but it'll get provided. And again, then 10 here is to do the right thing. Um, and uh, 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 we'll 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 see where it all goes and um, do our best to try and do it quickly and to do it as clearly uh, as possible. And again, we will communicate, but your questions do help because it also shows us what's most important to you and the information you're not getting. I saw a couple of people ask in the chat about Camp Camp, which is also just coming out as normal, right, for the, yeah. you know, for the rest of the episodes we have. Okay. Three more episodes thought, every Friday at noon central. Yeah, and they're just awesome. Camp Camp, the Ruby uh, bonus content that we talked about, that will be coming. Yeah, we're 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 still figuring out specifics, but um, I, I the the thing I was about, especially the Ruby Beyond, like the narrative stuff, like we really are passionate about that and want to finish that up. So um, we'll get specifics to everybody. But I mean, you know, we're we're here for sixty days, so. Oh, yeah. And we're here, yeah. you know, Ruby Volume 10, we continue to work on uh, partnerships yeah. can take a long time. Carrie has been diligent and working incredibly hard to continue to make that happen. I feel confident that we will figure out a way to make that happen. Maybe not on the timetable we want. It certainly has not been on the timetable we want to hope for. We are making progress. It is slow progress. Yeah. We're making progress. This may allow us to create greater clarity, uh, but Ruby is too special. There's too many of you being supportive. Um, there's too many people here who are passionate about it. So um, just know that is top of mind. We're working yeah. on that as and well. Jeff Yetter has been a huge part of that. Um, and, and yeah, to your point, I mean, there are meetings that we've had scheduled since before Wednesday, and they're still happening. So. Um, we'll, we'll give you guys updates when we have them. I don't want the mic. <laughs> I got no other questions unless 
Anyone here has seen anything online that we should address? Cool. So my action item for the end of this was, this is going to happen again. Like, this isn't just like a li little one and done thing. It's, you know, we got, we got some time. There's going to be more information coming out. Also, it's a really great excuse for everyone here to get together and talk and maybe not cry so much next time. We'll yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Uh oh. <laughs> um, I cry more or less. Yeah. Do you want to end it? Oh. Uh, thank you, guys. We love you. That's it. There's a point where it tips, there's a point where it breaks, there's a point where it bends, and a point where you just can't take anymore. There's a line that will cross, and there's no return. There's a time and a place, no bridges left to 